I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? They don't have a choice. We'll get inside. You'll warm up in no time. Come in. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Stop because of me. You've got to get across the border. You need a rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep, and tomorrow you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while.
I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Let them be. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what happened if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! 
fiends! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... they're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. There is widespread shock following the android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands on the city's public screens. It's still unclear whether these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. Rose gets back soon. Carol, there's something I need to tell you. It's about Alice. Not now, Luther. The police. It's the police. What are we gonna do? Uh, they know we're here. We have to open the door. Hurry, Luther, take Alice and hide. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. In the kitchen. Come on, Alice. Everything will be all right.
Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Androids here? No, there are no androids here. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? Uh, it's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the inconvenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Rose! Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. 
Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare- That's enough! And now what are we gonna do? There are five Cyber Life stores across Detroit, all selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay, now what's You're next? You're free. A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. soon be with us. You're free. Exactly what we need to ram this door.
Marcus! You see the alarm system? There's a metal shutter behind the glass. It won't be easy to get in. Found it. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Watch out! You are committing a Class 3 offense. This infraction is being reported to the police. Stay where you are. I told you to watch out! You said watch out, but not what for? Oh, I'm sorry. Next time you need to take cover, I'll send you a memo. Marcus! Mark! What's wrong with you? You crazy or what? The cops were coming. I had to do something. Never do that again. Got it? North. We've got to hurry. We don't have much time. We have to block the road. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Marcus! Marcus, come look! We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change.
You're awake now. Go to Jericho. You're free now. Nobody should bother us now. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. What are we waiting for? Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. I wonder what you'd do without me. ready to make some noise. end up doing something fun. You don't have to obey them. You're free.
My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes, to take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! We're with you! I'm with you! I'm with you! you, I'm with you. <sighs> then follow me! Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Marcus, they're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow.
We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. Marcus. Marcus, what's wrong? What? They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. Now humans will have no choice but to listen to us. They'll be afraid. And fear feeds hatred. I'll take hatred over indifference. North. You all right? What happened? North! They killed them. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. You don't have to do this. No. Please. Please. We won't punish a crime with another crime. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Numerous storefronts have been broken with cars vandalized and set alight, leaving many Detroit neighborhoods in chaos. Property was damaged and fires continue to rage in several major districts across the city. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Was Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. What the hell? Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? 
This guy created the first android to pass the Turing test, and he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about deviance, it's him. Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. girl you're right she's really Amanda really pretty nice place guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody so you're about to meet your maker Connor how's it feel Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Elijah, we'll see you now. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviance. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence, and now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? We 
We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? What I want is not important. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. You're from Malady. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing.
I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They count on me. They count on me to show them the way. <sighs> if only they knew how lost I am. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. I shouldn't have told you. left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club, the, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who can join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Why didn't you get it? 
You're free. So you can start my fucking... Well, think about it. I mean, androids are everywhere. And... Come with us. I, I mean, that's the point. Cyber life is recording all that. Finally. I've been on hold for like 10 minutes. You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Instruction. You get back! You're free. You stay right here, you fucking machine. Shit, what's wrong with you? Me on hold. You do I as need I to block the street. You are free. Christ! This batch is Patrol 457. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know. 
Hundreds. We are alive. Thousands. Of... We are alive. They're marching. We are alive. Yeah, they're marching down the street. Shit. Liberty for androids. Fuck you, fine. Liberty for androids. Liberty for androids. Freedom. 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 No more slavery. No more slavery. No more slavery. Equal rights. Equal rights. Equal rights. We are people. We are people. We are people. Set us free. Set us free. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we'll shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. We're not moving. Marcus, what are you doing? They're gonna kill us all! You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over.
We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? I know we're on the right side. Humans created us. They're our masters. No machine should rebel against its creator. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. I don't know why I did it. I know it hasn't always been easy, but I want you to know I really appreciated working with you. And that's not just my social relations program talking. I, I really mean that. At least, I think I do. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic prick. Hey, asshole, I'm talking to you. hard-boiled, eccentric police lieutenant choose. <laughs> Ridiculous. No one would have a password like that. Obviously. Is Jericho the answers here somewhere? Not much time. Gotta think fast. A deviant who took a child hostage.
that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. You and you lied to me. You were going to kill that child. You gave me no choice. I need to find Jericho. Do you know where it is? You're wasting your time. I don't know anything about Jericho. But I hope that one day you pay for what you did to me. Leave me alone. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Who's there? Who are you? Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? Why did you leave me? I had no choice. They'd have killed us all. You'll be all right. I came to take you home. Just give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. Jericho. Y yes. Yes, of course. Uh -huh. 
Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me again, Marcus! Don't leave! I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh, shit. Get the alarm! Now! <laughs> 